Alrighty guys, what is going up? Welcome back to the best investing money management channel on YouTube. In today's video, we are going to be talking about the absolute best stocks for dividends under $10. Yes, under $10. These are going to be ridiculously cheap stocks that pay a dividend, have growth on the stock side too. So you're going to be getting passive income from the dividends. You're going to be getting growth from the stock. These are all going to be some of the better uh, growing sectors and companies that I think in the next couple of years will thrive. So starting off with the very first one, we have ticker symbol ARLP. Now this one does use a uh, variety of things. They are a mining company. Um, so they have like coal, they have steel, stuff along those lines. Uh, they mine ore and you guys can see the absolute growth we've seen in the past 180 days, right? You could have literally doubled your account. Uh, you guys can see it was about $4.65. Now it hit $8. That's a 72% return. Look at the growth here. Not to mention you guys get paid a 10 cent dividend every single quarter. So this is one that obviously is going to be a little volatility. It's going to have some growth and you're going to be getting paid. Guys, you're going to be getting paid solid dividend growth. It, it, it's just a fantastic one. Moving on to stock number two, we have E. So this one does have the highest yield out of all of them we, we're going to be talking about. So this has a yield of around 6.39%. Today it's up about 2%. So this is a company that uh, is kind of a little bit similar to um, the other one, but this is going to be more of uh, utilities um, and company along those lines, right? Energy transfer utility company. It's rated one of the top dividend companies um, in the past 12 months. You guys can see an absolute powerhouse lows at $6, highs here at $11. If you would have bought the highs or bought the lows, sold the highs, you'd have a return of 87%. If you just held it for the past 180 days, you'd have a return of 44%. So look at the absolute growth on this thing. I think it's always smart though too guys to make sure you guys understand all the fundamentals right now i'm just giving you guys some of the better cheap stocks right because there's these are going to be a little bit of risk right under ten dollars so most of them aren't going to be massive companies these are going to be companies that have risk but obviously a lot of reward with these dividend payouts moving on to stock number three we have EVC. So this one does have a little bit of a uh, lower yield at around 1.3%, which is still pretty good. That's about two cents, you know, every quarter, which I get two cents isn't, it's not much, but it's better than nothing. Um, so uh, EVC Network is a television company and they have radio, digital media, um, a variety of uh, things. They focus more towards Spanish speaking audiences. They have beautiful growth. You guys can see the lows here at $2.65 and highs here at 77 or $7.07, .07, excuse me. This would have a return of 172%. So the growth on this is off the charts, but obviously you guys are gonna be getting that payout too. So you're gonna be getting compound interest, passive income, Growth on the stock side, it's just a no-brainer, right? The the growth of this is off um, the charts. Moving on to stock number four, this is going to be a company that really focuses on a building block. So this is going to be more of the manufacturing side of things. So you know, parts for automobiles, steel beams, company, you know, stuff along those lines, right? Uh, you guys can see it does have a nice upward trend. It's a little bit on the more volatile side. You guys can see it does have a return of 17% in the past 180 days, which is still good. But in the meantime, this thing has spiked, sold off, spiked back up, sold off. So there is some volatility with it. Return um, on the dividend side of around seven, seven cents. They did increase it from two cents to seven cents. So this could be one of the uh, fundamental catalysts that you know we've seen why it's uh, getting bought up so quickly. And this does have a dividend yield of around 2.4%, which is, which is pretty good. So moving on to stock, what is this, number five? We have um, Mitsubishi. So this, we all know this is a um, Japanese bank company. They have 
um, a variety of places and headquarters across the world, but their main one is in uh, Tokyo. The company does have a variety of things from um, investment banking. They're almost like the chase of overseas, okay? So they do have a beautiful upward trend, dividend of around 11 cents. Um, you guys can see it's just a pretty solid stock a little more of the volatility side really hasn't seen growth in the past month or so just because it's almost just been consolidating out very similar to like an Amazon uh, what what Amazon's doing right now so you guys can see it's just been trading in between this line but we still are on that beautiful upward trend um, you know this is just a solid company like I said just a banking stock in Japan that does very very well so the last stock that I want to talk about is a REIT so this is a uh, pretty much a real estate ETF. It's ticker symbol MFA Financial. So you guys can see beautiful growth on the stock side, seven cent dividend every quarter. They increased it up to 10 cents now, which is fantastic for dividend growth. This is ha this has a yield of around 6.4%, which is, it's beautiful. That's fantastic, right? So this is just another fantastic company, right? They have a variety of real estate uh across the United States, um, and you guys just get a little bit of that money when the tenant pays um, their rent or their lease, and you guys get some money on that side. So these are all fantastic companies on the dividend side for under $10. I would highly recommend them. So that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode, guys, and if you did, hit that like button and subscribe, and we will see you guys later. Remember to stay happy, stay positive, and stay safe out there. Take care.